Welcome back to Railroads Online. I am Rever, and we are sitting here by the smelter, having picked up all of our rails that we came by for in the last episode. I do have a brief public service announcement in that I'm going to start on Saturday releasing a workers and resources video each day. So expect this one to drop off as far as not being an everyday thing that I'm going to do. So I just wanted to warn you, this video should go up on Thursday, so we have a couple day warning there. And uh, sorry about that, but I think this, you know, once we get the 200 barrels done, we're going to have done a lot of the stuff the game has to offer. And we'll wait for some more content and whatnot and probably come back and visit it later. But in any event, let's get back to the work at hand, which is 200 barrels of oil, which is certainly turning into a bigger project than I even anticipated. Though some of it is, you know, it's been a lot of fun, especially now that we're ramping up our trades. But it's it's been more... Definitely took longer than I thought it would. Let's just put it that way. That's not a complaint, just more of a statement of fact, you know. So in any event, here we are. We now truly have 26 cars. Sorry for any confusion. I didn't go back even yet and watch what I was saying in the actual video for the going up to the iron mine. I hope I wasn't telling anybody 26 cars. It was 24 Certainly was a mistake, but enough of that. I did pull forward because I was going to, I had to log off. And then, so I've just logged back in and I didn't want those cars to be sitting on that hill where they would be separated. So I set the brakes on the last three cars, pulled them forward to this position, backed the whole entire thing up until it was just on this side of that, that hill. Right. So let's see how well the links all did. Right. That's as much as I could possibly do to get this thing to not be breaking links left and right. And uh, you know, the other thing we were going to look at, yeah, see this thing is sticking. Can we fit this thing in the bypass? And if you look, we are, we still have like quite a few cars sticking out there. What is it? One, two, three, like at least seven or eight cars are sticking out too far. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to fit that in here, but what we could probably do is back this guy up enough that we can get that guy out because that guy's actually on like that guy could actually get out now i think as long as he can get past this right and even if he couldn't he could pull out as far as he could disconnect some cars and then back those cars in and then pick up the rest of the car so we can get this guy out even if we decide to leave this guy here somewhere <laughs> one way or the other because we're not going to fit eight cars see what i mean like Maybe another three or four more cars could, well, not even four, like two more cars could fit there. So, yeah, so even after redoing our bypass, it's still too short for 26 cars. We are carrying an impressive load. So, I did just put some heat in there. Yep, we're doing pretty darn well. I probably want to top it up just because it's a long trip and we're going to be cautious. So, what, one, two, three may fit in there. All right, here we go. I did flip the switches. Let's get my V to the right distance and see what we can do here. Let's put it in forward. And big first test. Does everybody come with us? I didn't set any brakes down this way. Just those back three. And then, you know, like backed it all up in there. Yeah, well, they're all moving. Not that that's... The real test will be when we go to go uphill. And sometimes it seems like you don't lose them right away, that there's... That there's some issues. I don't know. So this switch is switched right. That one's right. Yep, this one's right. And I'm pretty sure I checked this one before I logged off. We're about to find out. And like I said, I also am pretty sure that I flipped the switch. It's actually just right up there. If you picture, we go up there. Oops, I'm sorry. Right up over there. Like we, we're going around. Where is it? Oh, no. You know what? We can't quite see it yet. It's not quite to that waterfall. So it's right up here is where that switch at all would be. Right, because we go down this way, we make that big U-turn, then we come up here, and then there's a there's a mountain range we can't quite see yet. I think it's like right there. That's where we switch, and then we go over to the other side of the mountain range that runs north and south. Well, the only negative thing is we have, it would be nice, I did decide to switch these cars just for the sake of ease of unloading. The more I've thought about it is these cars really don't matter too much. Let me give this a little more gas. Here, 
bog it down a bit. Kind of keep an eye as much as anything. Oops, does that switch flip? Yeah. <laughs> Got lucky on that one. Not lucky. I mean, I'm pretty sure I remembered right. But... Oh, did we lose some cars? Oh, let's stop. That's not 26 cars behind us, is it? Sorry. I don't want to fall off this. I'll never get back up. All right, it's one, two, three, four. This is the fifth one. Yeah, I guess that's all of them. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, I don't care. Well, I, for some reason it looked shorter. <laughs> I don't know. It's just getting to be too many. No, oh, you know what? I don't want to fall down that. Yeah, let's stay on this. The only negative, those walls look great, but if they're tall at all, which is exactly when you'd... Oops, let's do F. Uh, we're going to might as well keep this stoked because we're going so far. Yeah, sorry about that. That was me. Yeah, this really wasn't the best place to stop either. But... All right, well, better safe than sorry. I guess that's the way I should look at that. Right, we're going to be cautious. And, I, and I'm just so paranoid about these breaking links after you're... And I just wanted to believe that it broke a link. But that's how long the train is. I should get used to what it looks like, I guess. Making it. For some reason, this is just slower than I thought it would be. Like, it's always bogging down right there. Like, I think that turn has something to do with it. I don't know. Oh, well, it's pretty smooth. I'm not, in, you know, part of me's relaxed about this, part of me's anxious. Flying up here. There we, there we are by the waterfall. There we are, dead down there. Yeah. So we are going right up pretty close to the waterfall here, aren't we? Yeah, they, whoa, 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 did you see that jumping? I wonder why it jumped there. Slow it down a little bit to it. I don't want to come into this turn too fast. I, I didn't expect it to rip up the hill quite that well. <laughs> All right, then I flipped that switch. Good. See, my memory isn't completely flawed these days. We'll just keep it easy going. Let's 
so I'm gonna get rid of that. That's what we were gonna do at one point. See how far <laughs> the designs change? I'm sorry, this this is a cool game. A big long train. I mean, I guess once you get to a certain point, the the biggest thing I'm worried about, I think, is the top of the top of the bridge that goes over that gorge, the kind of big long bridge that we have. Not so much even on the way there, but on the way back. On the way there, we'll be going slower down the hill, not pulling up it. I want to be quiet for the noise. That didn't just derail me. All right, guess what I see? <laughs> so for all their removing trees from all my things, and they did warn about this, that you may find some trees in the way. But we did. Yes, yeah, so I wonder what would make it... You would think that... If you did a thing that would eliminate all the trees within a certain distance, you would wonder why they would then leave some, you know? Like I'm sure they ran that track cle tree clearing thing after they ran the... At least you would hope they would have. Well, might as well give it more fire again, right? Since we're here, it stopped. Okay, well, hopefully... Yeah, hopefully nothing happened. I hit the brakes a little bit harder than I probably should have, but can you really blame me for panicking, you know? Yeah, well, we, I think we're I think we're good, which is a good sign, right? You know, all the better. That we didn't flip it. It means our tracks are pretty good. Bit of a tight turn here. Let's see how we handle it. Should be smooth enough, I would hope. Especially if you don't do anything stupid. I think if we jammed on the brakes at this moment, we would derail, but yeah, there's a pretty big dip right there. Uh, yeah, we can handle little changes. I've learned that 
somebody was making a mention, well, it's the up and down will really do it to you. And I don't doubt that, but I think it's a combination of everything, right? Like an up and down on a turn is going to get you. Like, you know, like it is, there is something to that up and down being an issue. But as long as everything's somewhat gentle, you can handle some bumps and bruises and tight turns. And Yeah, it's, it's not as nice with all those trees cut back, but there you go. Maybe it was the government came in and cut them all down on us, right? Said there was regulations that we had to maintain, so. We could pretend, but yeah, it's a little bit steep. My, it's not gradual enough, this transition. That bridge I should have built, and I didn't redo, if you remember, I if you guys watched that, I didn't rebuild the whole thing. So it wasn't like I should have deleted the top part and just made it a little bit smoother right in here. Because you'll see as we go over, or I'll, I'll flip around. We're going to give it a little bit of break so, so we get bunched up ahead of time, right? Like I don't want to get, oh, look, see the way that jumped around? That, that should probably be, and then they've changed things a little bit too, so... So I, I'm not sure how much is it being changed, you know, like this. They definitely have said they've changed work, how the splines work. That's part, I think, of a performance improvement, but it's probably all, like, because, you know, some of these things could take a lot of math calculating that curve, you know. Or at least a lot of math when you have a lot of things happening. Yeah, sure, it could do that math pretty quickly but when you got to do it hundreds of times or something and well we made it anyway so it's, it definitely was a little bit sketchy and then there was that other spot I guess I should go back and watch the video to know exactly where it was why did we jump in that spot that was kind of odd what was that you know something happened there And I guess my second biggest issue area would be this tight turn way up ahead. This one's a little bit of a tight turn too, but we should be able to power right through this one steady. Now I've gone through this one at 45 with a smaller train. So let's just see if I can leave this on 27. It's a little bit of an up, steeper uphill right here. 
maybe I want to give it a little bit more. We're not going overly fast, but I'd rather make it. I can work on going faster once I feel comfortable that we can make it at all. So I'll start to slow down pretty good. Here we go. I think that's going to be too fast. Oh, oh, I see cars jumping there. Let's just slow it down a little bit. I did see a little bit of jumpiness. Some of the jumpiness might be because I'm paying more attention. Oh, shoot. Gosh darn it. Really? Oh, they're rolling down the hill, too, no less. Oh, let me get... Oh, I can't get back up that, can I? No, let's get over there before they roll down. Oh, man. We were doing so well, too. Then the devs had to go put a tree in the middle of the road, huh? And this is going to be a major pain in the butt to try to get all this back. I don't think any of them rolled down the hill, so I don't see any. I think I would have seen them. I turned around and looked quick enough. Let me uh, get some brakes set, though. I'm probably going to need to... Yeah, we'll do three just for the sake of it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's right on the turn, too. So all these cars, I'm going to probably have to find a flat spot for them. All right, let's go see what crashed us. And then I'm going to have to... I'll put all this back together off camera, I think. But at least the most of it. Maybe we'll get the first couple of things set. Yeah, there were some trees. Well, they warned me. It's just right on that turn, too, you know, when I was trying to pay attention to... Yeah, this this is going to make me nervous right here, too. Hopefully that thing doesn't take our caboose with it. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to run the track before I do that. Let's just see if we can get this guy even back up here, right? Because I need to be able to go down there and get him. He's stuck in a tree and I can't click on him. Oh, there he goes. I don't want to get off that gravel. I think I can, yeah, I can run up the gravel. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's see, can I put him further ahead on the straight here? Looks like we can. All right, so I want to left click and then I look again. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't. What are you doing there? Okay, let's just set him. Set him to whatever physics issues he's having calm down a bit right Let's see if we can't so where did our tender go hope we didn't lose it entirely oh there it is they said if somebody said when I lost my car in a comment that if they go underground, they're lost. So, okay, we can get up there. Um, yeah, I gotta get ready to put this guy. Can't see. Yeah, that's the right way. Put this guy's brake on.
Yeah. Let's get. See, when I click on that, I get this solid bar, not like a little weak link. All right, like that's the little weak link. So we'll see. All right, guys, well, I'm going to put this back together. I think that's the only one that really went over the edge. And I'm just going to, it's just going to take a while, you know, but at least we got them, you know, pretty good, I guess, you know, like at least, I don't know what I said. And I'm going to run the rest of the track just to make sure there's no more trees, but big disappointment in the fact that we didn't really prove it, but I think we would have made it around that turn without this having happened. Man, oh man. All right, well, they got me. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. I made it back to put them all together. And now we're back down here, which is, <laughs> let me show you on the map. I don't know if it makes too much difference, but we're back down. The turn is up there, and then there's the big bridge that we come down. And the reason is, is I ran out of time yesterday, and I did make a save, but I forgot to, like, bunch all the cars up and put the brakes on the last car so they ran down here and I thought well you know what it's not the end of the world because that's really an odd happening that caused us to, to derail here so hopefully we'll be able to I put some more fuel in there and eh, we're not quite there but we should be able to get started I hope but so I had to back down here and then rehook it up and like I said I, I don't think it's the end of the world for us we can get another run at it right all right so why aren't we moving at all Go, 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 go. So we were doing pretty well. I don't know if we're going to continue to do well. Let's check, make sure everybody's coming with us. I haven't tried to go forward yet. But yeah, I ran all the way down here too. <laughs> and then I thought, well, boy, I could have just brought the train down because it wasn't going to go any further. It was just going to go up that hill and come back. So let's not go too fast. I did run the rest of the way, which really, when you look at it, isn't very far. Like the iron mine or the coal mine is just right there. So this time we will keep our eyes peeled a little bit more forward. But I was trying, like I look back all the time. If you if you see see how we saw that car jumping right there, you know, like that's the little kind of things that you're looking for. You know, do all the cars jump? You know, I would hope they wouldn't. Let's get a little more juice through here. There's our turn. No trees in the way. We could have seen the tree from there if we were paying a lot of attention, but I was more worried about looking back at the cars. It's like deja vu. And it was a bit of a, a bit of a mess trying to get all these back together on the side of the hill and trying to find a nice straight spot. I ended up putting a bunch of them back together here, so I was that's why I was sitting on this hill when they Try that speed. Let's go a little slower. I forget how fast we were going. I'm not sure if I feel as ambitious as I did yesterday as far as my speeds go. I think the big thing with the turns, obviously, you can just be going too fast and overturn, which we have done here. Right, let's look forward. <laughs> uh, you know, but at the same time, you can can do things too quickly in turns. I think that's even a bigger problem. This turn should be not too bad. Get going too fast, obviously. And so if I were to slam on the brakes at a turn, that definitely will re derail them. Which uh, the other big concern I have, having had more time to think about this, is the turnaround up at the top. That's going to be. Yeah, in some ways, I think the tracks are going to be okay, but getting there. But the the problem will be when we have to go do the 180. That you know, whether we're doing it this way or that way, give it a little bit more. Now, the part of the problem is I pick up speed right here, and then I this is one of the worst turns. I think I need to straight straighten that out a little bit closer to the cliff. That nice steady chug chug coming around here. All right, do we still have all the cars? We still have a lot of them. They'll get deposited down there if we don't. I don't see any sitting down there yet. And then th there's a pretty a steeper than it looks hill right here. We gotta 
give it some gas to get up that hill. How's our switch going? Okay, it looks like we're gonna come in this way. So we, what I'm talking about is like going around this turn is pretty darn tight. Now there was a hint that people gave to help, and that's to set the brakes on some of the cars. I think we might even try to do that because, I don't know, it's just a very steep thing happening up here. So let's get all the way up into here and then we'll see about going back and setting at least some of the brakes partially like maybe every six or so cars and that'll just you know might make it harder to pull so i guess there's probably a debate there yeah it looks like i think that's the full full train length i don't really know like i said we'll find out when i go to unload and we have an uneven uneven thing right so the last thing we want to do is put on the brakes too much here right where we're in this turn so let's just give it a little bit of break we'll see how it goes maybe first before we go setting any brakes but yeah see how to do 13 how's that looking oh look at that look you see that yeah I'm a bit worried about that being sharp with all these cars but we'll see Hopefully I can be gentle enough. Problem is I'm not always real gentle when it comes to stopping and starting. 19 too much. Well, we made it up there anyway, right? If it wasn't for that tree, or trees, oh no, no, no. past it. I think we're alright. Let's take a look. Yeah, no, perfect. Pro stop once again. <laughs> Doesn't mean pros can't question themselves, right? Come on. Do the thing. There you go. It's counting. Hey, we got rails. So now the problem we have is I was thinking this hold held 100, but it only holds 50, so... I can only unload five of these, and then we're going to have to unload a load a cart with the beams in it. Well, at least ten, three cars, four cars. So we have to unload 12 beams to get the number of rails down so we don't waste the rails. But uh, my bet is this one will go, too. As long as it's, it seems like they go all the way over to the steps. But I also think it counts mostly what's in the middle. I'm not sure exactly or exactly how it works but there we go so we got 23 so you know i don't think you guys need to i'm not going to do anything fancy with unloading just i'm pulling up now the other issue that we're going to have potentially is i don't have enough markers i guess i need to put markers all the way out either that or maybe it would be better in the future to do it around this other way and then just put the markers on the inside here as opposed to going all the way down the hill. There's no real way for me to turn around. Well, I guess I could back all the way back down there, but yeah, let's just see how it goes here with the with the markers. I'll either come back or just let you know what happened. I don't think putting down the markers is too exciting. All right, so let me pull forward. We got some more fire. Yeah, just enough. Oh, and I need to remember to flip the flipper. I love to forget the flipper, like when I'm going out, like to head someplace, I always think of the flipper. But sometimes I don't think of it when I'm sitting here unloading. Like, I just completely zone it. Let's give it just a little break. 14. We seem to be able to handle a 14 braking action. I don't think that's all the cars, is it? No. That's not all the cars. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's, let's go take a quick count. Because there's five, six that I can see, and then right on the turn, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so we lost eight cars someplace. Let's go see if we can see them real quick. Otherwise, I'll just, I think I'll unload what we have. I'm not sure how I'll handle this. Because I have to get turned around somehow with this, or no, does this train have a... Didn't notice a silly bar sticking out. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I'd never... I'd sell that sticking out the other day for some reason. So good. So we could go, like, rescue them somehow, but then we gotta get them up in here. I guess I could back down with these cars. All right, well, I'll think about that. Let's let's go see if we can... They're probably either derailed someplace or we just broke a link or a combination of both, right? Yeah, I can see them down there. I, it's probably hard for you guys to see, but they are moving in between those trees. I think they went up that hill. So somehow we lost the link. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll have to see. There are some places we could straighten out there. Maybe we'll have a rail repairs up in this area just to make it more friendly towards... Because I think that we could bring this in a little bit tighter. Here, let's go flip this switch. I'll show you how steep this hill is. And I was thinking, we really don't need this rail siding, this coal anymore. Or the, I'm sorry, the oil coal. Yeah, locomotives do normally take coal. But the wood and the... The water tower, maybe the water tower we could use, but we we could put that anywhere. And the reason I say that is, is because this is an awful sharp turn. And if I were able to come over this way more, we could take a lot of that sharpness out, right? Instead of worrying about lining up with that so much. And then if you look, this is a reason, relatively steep hill there. That's, you know, my look side to side is, is level. Like you could see that's quite the downhill. And I think we could extend that you know, more gently over into here. And then when we come out of here, I think we could come straight or maybe not straight, but we could go, you know, kind of cut this thing right here. Maybe even put a bridge across there, right? Yeah, there's those cars all the way down there. Hmm. Well, something broke them. Maybe it was these things, but let me run back up there and I will talk to you guys in a minute. I had an idea. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. It probably isn't, but it's probably not a bad idea either. I stopped because I was starting to get into this hill, which I definitely would like to fix. But in the meantime, I had a thought. We have, you know, we have problems with the really long trains and we could probably come in, but it's also good has a good chance of causing us problems on that turn. But what if we were to drop off part of the train here? And then unload the rest. Let's go get ready. I'll show you. Oh, let's come up here. So what I would do is I would pull in. And then back over into this area. So that I could leave the cars here. We'll do like a demo with the cars that still have stuff on it. Right. And then in the meantime, I'll go get the rest of the cars. And we can put this all back together up here. So I don't. if we didn't have that derailment and we have to. And I wasn't having to think about a solution. But you can see that even if I wanted to go a little bit further and unload those four, like normally the idea that we're testing up here is to do 26 cars. So I think we lost eight of them. So I think this is probably 18 cars or something like that. In the meantime, when I back up, I can drop this off too. But So normally I might do it a little different where I did do the three and then 10, three and then 10, drop off 13 cars in that spot. Then I would be able to unload this way. Now, of course, I could always, like, force myself to come around the other direction, so I'm aware of that, and I just want to kind of see how... Like, I, sometimes it you can picture how something's... Well, how you think something's going to turn out, but it's not actually the same thing as doing it and seeing how easy it is or isn't. It's not like we have to go real far to flip these switches, and maybe this isn't the place we do it because we can come in, but it, I think it's an interesting concept to maybe have a siding just and and here's the other thing it's taken a really long time i'm not showing it on camera to run back and forth how long does it take to run back and forth each time now again another argument for just coming in this way oops i think i'm going too fast let's, let's not buzz around that turn so we would pull in up to about this point and then back up, and then that way you wouldn't have to run as far. Does it save us more time than all that running 26 car lengths? Oops, you know what? I forgot to unload that thing. Well, I don't want to upset the banana cart just yet. Let's just glide around this turn without any derailments. But the turn's doing pretty well, right? It's We did see that one car buck up a little bit, but 
And then again, we don't have the 26 cards either, do we? So. so now, you know, picture this was the thing. We could run those cars all the way in. I need to run them back far enough that I know I can get past because part of my strategy here is to be able to run down backwards and go get that of those other cars. I think I've been there far enough. Now when I come back with those cars, yeah, I would just hook them up so I don't need to be particularly far back. Let's very gently hit the brakes. We have good br oh, we don't have any heat. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's fix that when we come to a stop. Another negative thing about that. Ooh. All right, so you'd come in here. We would disconnect the cars, you know, the 13th car, whatever it is. In this case, we're just going to do these four. And we can pull back forward. It should be pretty level, I think. Break that connection. Let's do two cars breaks. Now, you know what? After the last mess, I'm going to put the last break on, too. Oop, it's not right there. There's our broken link sitting there. One of the things I thought of when it comes to these links breaking, and I know they, a lot of people have opinions about them breaking too much. I would imagine that kind of a link would wear out from wear and tear. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a problem with the California wildfires is that they have the hooks that actually hold the wires to the tower and they, the wind, you know, <clears throat> rubs them back and forth so much that the metal just wears out and then they give up, so to speak. And that, that can let the wires droop a lot further. And, you know, because if one of those links breaks, the wire hangs down. You can imagine that it can hang close to trees and stuff like that. So one of the things they have to do every so many years is go replace it. Well, you, know, you could argue that some of the links that you break too easy, quote unquote, could be worn links, right? Like, you know, unless you're replacing your links constantly, which is probably a pretty big expense when you add it all up if you you know if you can get an extra six months out of a set of links you probably save the company a lot of money back in those days who knows just make it up an excuse <laughs> but you get the idea i don't think it's unreasonable now, how many rails yeah we dropped off i think we had what 50 in there so now we got to 26 so we must have dropped off that many 24 beam so far this would well i guess we would still have to stop on that turn and could we come in either way yeah i guess we could you would have to pull all the way back out i'm not sure how much sense this makes like i said in this particular case just i think we're where we can unload that guy so then imagine we just unloaded however many cars well they yeah they're going to fit in there i think and then we could put these cars in the siding this other siding get it get going in good all right so at least we got all our rails in there all right so i would pull forward let's see how well i can see getting steam yet yeah, good. and that flipper is flipped the right way So we just have to pull past this first one, and then we'd back in here. And then normally at that point, we would just go hook up to those other 13 cars, right? Which would be stored in here for us. Again, is this all too much? Yeah, maybe. Either that or we were... Like, what if you couldn't improve that turn and we were having problems with the 26 cars? Like... I think it would be, it's a little different to come around that turn carefully one time and then back up versus stopping and starting because it's that stopping and starting seems to really be the enemy there. Let me get going 
too fast down this hill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. Yeah, I wonder where I lost those cars. Do I see them sitting down there yet? Nah. It's all fun railroading. Yeah, let's give it a little more break. Kind of a lot more break. All right. We've got about... I'd say four more cars, so if we count, that's yeah, one, two, three, four. We're probably getting pretty darn close. Yeah, that's, that's probably enough, I would guess. Yeah, this is the other problem with this plan, isn't it, <laughs> in this particular case? Nothing like actually testing out a theory, though. You know. Sometimes you can, you can eliminate a theory pretty quickly, but up oh, did I go far enough? Yeah, you know what? That was maybe close. Perfect. Very good anyway, considering the circumstances. Now what I could do is if we were really going to do this regularly, once I figured out where too far was, like I could, you know what? That's like another car length. I could come down here and make a marker and say, you know, you need to stop right here for... You know, there's no reason I couldn't put a marker down this way. All right, so now we can back these into there. I'm gonna go. Nope. Come on, do it. You can do it. Still have that hill to deal with, at least in part. But like I said, I think the game's a little bit too weighted towards what's going on with the locomotive. Now, again, these things were awful heavy. They they could be right, and I could be wrong. That's, you know, this, this is significantly heavier than one of these cars. But when you got these cars filled, sometimes it still feels like the locomotive has undue power to affect you know, on the hills and whatnot. See, like, once this gets to the hill, we really slow down, like... I'm not sure how realistic that is. That could have been... We, I don't know, we could have snapped them right on this turn. We were doing so well, I just... You know, then I didn't want to look back as much, because... Well, I can't see that much because of the turns, anyhow. All right, so now another thing I did, I'll show you the feature in a minute. I can't really, can't 100% tell how close we are. Do we have a shadow over here? No, there's no real shadows. It would be nice to put a, that's going to be good enough. All right, so let me hit F. I'm going to set the brakes here. I'll show you my feature. It's, two of them's good enough. We're not really going that far. Now, did I go far enough back to? I said I couldn't. I can't really tell how far back I am. And again, once again, we can put a mark. But I, if you notice, look, I slope this up. So that should put a little bit of weight towards these cars going together. So you wouldn't have to like if I s saved the game right now and came back, I would don't have to set those brakes because that's on a two percent incline right there. Hey, thinking. I got I got the thinking juices going this morning. I'm not sure if they're good ideas, but they're ideas. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to have bad ideas to get good ideas. All right, so now what I want to do, let's come here, flip this one. Part of the reason I wanted to, I thought, how can I do this in the proper direction? Not that I really needed to, because we have that bar to flip up, but... All right, so I can push this guy so he can go that way. So I'm going to pull this guy back out. And then I can back all the way back down and around. So this was, if nothing else, a way to accomplish that, which is probably fairly unnecessary. All right, so we're good to pull back out. So I need to pull back out. All right, let's give it some more fire. I think it was getting low. Yeah, 
lower, yep. Not reverse. Though that probably doesn't hurt bunching them up a little bit. Just not, not to where I, I don't have no intentions of saving and leaving until you never know what happens in real life, right? So now if we just pull down past this, I should be able to... Yeah, I'll have to flip this switch to, so I can come back out this way. So That'll be after I flip this one. Right, can I flip this one? Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of on it, aren't I? Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. I might redo the opening to this one day for sure. Wait, am I on the switch? I'm really kind of close. <laughs> it's just... I think I can flip it now. Probably was a little bit quicker with that than I needed to be, but I think... Yeah, I'm off of the switch. All right, so now I should be able, right? That's the right way. I should be able to back all the way around and down there. Right? And then pull those trains back up, back into here. And I can back up and rehook those four. Then I can unload them using the markers. And then pull back forward and then back in and connect the rest of the train and then head on our way back down. So since this is getting kind of long already as far as the length of the video goes, let me let me cut this and you know head back down there and then I'll be back when I get back up into here and we'll rehook up and start reloading or something. Whatever it makes sense. Right, see you guys in a minute. I don't want to be going 78. Okay, well, I found seven cars, so I don't know if that's all of them. <laughs> I do need to count. I got five of them in here, but you can see I've pulled up here, and I was thinking about this more as I was backing down there and pulling back up. It's, you know, I really don't know if I would do this, but it's an interesting kind of concept in the way that you might unload. Obviously, you don't need to have it, you might not even need two separate things if you had, like, just a rail siding someplace where it would help you... And again, my, I think what it solves more than anything else is the fact that these trains are getting so long that they're just hard to hard to gauge where to stop, right? They're, because they get so long and like an accord, like an accordion, but yeah, like they shrink in like a slinky, you know, they, like a spring in a sense. So I'm thinking that this would be you know, a bit of a solution for that. Now, I could just pull forward, of course, and start unloading, but let's go get these. This is all the extra part. But imagine at some point you've just dropped off those those cars over there. Come back over here with your empty train and hook back up to all your cars. Let's, uh, let's do that, because I think I pulled the link and kept it with the locomotive, though I don't really trust this. I think for sure... Sometimes the link stays with the thing you didn't expect it to stay with. Other times it doesn't. And it does seem to stick with the tender, if I had to guess, more than it does with the car. Like, I think I've unhooked the tender before the pin, and yet it, the hook stays with it for some reason. So keep that in mind in your adventures. Let's go backwards. But you know what? This is the right number of car. Where is it? Yeah, this will be 12 cars. Without even counting, I added one new mark before I stopped adding marks over there and started saying, you know, I'm going to be on this hill. And before you know it, I'm going to be around that turn trying to unload these cars. So that means normally the last time I came up here, I would have had 13 cars. So that means I've probably unloaded 14 cars. 
right? And if this is 12, which it is, because we had, I rescued seven. And I'm just counting when we came back in these last five. Right? Yeah, one, two, three. This one should be the one that needs the link. Yep. And then these have their brakes all on. A lot of them. We're just going to check. Yeah, so this makes it a lot easier to unload at the end of the day. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, again, I'm, I'm really liking the concept of dropping off some of the cars. You imagine you just unloaded those, and then now you need to unload the rest of them. And again, if you build it with a thir 3 and 10, you know, 13 car, it would be relatively easy to keep track of where you wanted to load and unload. Then you just have to make sure you're flipping your switches. Probably not the best test in the world because because I'm already like I didn't really do it. Like I don't have a good sense of the time it saved me to go do this. But I would think it, you know, back it in here, unhooking, it would certainly be better than because I'm going to be stopping all the way around that corner. <laughs> it would just be too much, you know. And even if it was straight as heck, it would still, it's just getting harder and harder and harder as you try to do more cars. You could actually build yourself a whole system for doing, and if you could drag 50 cars up here, right, you, you could have multiple, you know, because like you could go back into that area. Oh, I need to get ready for braking. You could go back into that area as a bit of a flat spot where you'd pull up here and, you know, unload some of them just so you couldn't. Oops, not the regulator. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the brake. Are we going to slam on the brake and hurt the cars? No. See, now I'm able to unload these things nice and easy. Which I think is going to be pretty much the end of the episode here. I know we're not even quite to the hour, but... Or maybe I should just cut it and then show you guys me rehooking that. But I think you guys could get the idea here. Let me know what you think of this idea. It's, like I said, maybe not for this location, but I'm kind of liking the concept in general oops I went a little bit too far I think oop, now I'm stuck in the firebox <laughs> alright be in the cap right are you unloaded no, come on unload for me there we go good so we're at the end of the day I will probably come back here well let's see what are we going to do I think I'm just going to pull this back down there with you guys to see if we have any issues on the way back down so why don't I come back in the next episode and we'll have I'll rehook up these cars and then we'll head back down because I do want to see if we have any issues with 26 cars. This is part of the test as well as getting 200 barrels of oil. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.